Talking about dollar strength again, going back into the FX space, euro dollar, mm -hmm. you know, there is a kind of a bullish scenario maybe for the euro, depending on some decisions that has happened. That's not really the case. 1.06 seems to be the one testing now. It's broke slightly below it. Do we have risk remain skewed towards 1.05 or where are we going next in the short term? Yes, yeah, so we've clearly got a pretty decent range here. Um to work, you know, broke down, you know, late September 2021. Um, yeah, this one spot zero five area, very, very big area. Um, Got to hold here or, you know, below that, you know, you're probably looking at one spot zero two. We can go back. I mean, these are some pretty big. Maybe something further along in here. Uh, if we go back to 2016, pretty big areas in here. So yeah, if we go all the way back, euro dollar, you would want to see it bounce in here somewhere. Obviously, this failed breakout here above one spot ten. Um, did not hold, and yeah. uh, as you know, from failed moves come fast moves. So quickly, right back down to 105. Um, Got it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what we probably below that level, we'd start to see a narrative back to: Are we going to reach parity or not? And yeah. <laughs> I think that, yeah. Would be that was yeah. such a big talk last year. Gosh, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll see. I guess it's coming back at the end of the year again. Um, yeah. Uh, you look at the the pound as well. I mean, obviously, last week you had the Bank of England follow the roots of the Fed and pause, even though that was unexpected. And some people have speculation that they've not done the right thing. But again, more weakness to the pound, more strength of the dollar. Like, what what do you think is going to happen here? Do we also see consolidation, or could we see a bounce back down? Yeah. So clearly, here we've got a big multi-year level at one spot two. Um, would have liked to see this hold somewhere in these area again areas you know not not thin lines like I've got but we want to use these as areas um, unfortunately yeah broken I mean you've had a strong trend off the bottom like this so it does seem to be rolling over is it just a retest um, who knows so yeah, a, a rough last uh, two months, but not not a lot of severe damage yet. Uh, not mm -hmm. nearly as bad as we were uh, last year. Got it. Yeah, last one dollar yen. Probably heard a lot of it this year with the Fed hawkish pause, but also the uh, Bank of Japan rigorously holding on to its dovish stance no matter what the situation is. Uh, we see it probably pack tracking to 150. Do you see that happening this week? Yeah, so back to um, multi-month highs. As you said, 150, kind of the the line in the sand. Um, I would be, I would be surprised if we just zoom right through this. Um, um, when I'm talking about month, weeks, and months, but maybe over the next. Um, you know, few weeks, maybe next couple months, um, a pause up here in this area, and then, you know, at some point, an eventual move higher.